Welcome into my third annual, I tried a bazillion mascaras and most of them didn't work, but I found some really good ones. Let's get into the video right now. Hello friends. Yes, truly 45 different mascaras. I know insane. But yes, I tried 45 different mascaras and I'm going to give you my complete reviews on all of them, which obviously because there's 45 here, we're going to have to do a little bit snappy, but we'll get there. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad that you're here and I hope that you do decide to subscribe. But also I don't start my reviews immediately. We talk about what I have on and a couple other things. So put a timestamp right here if you'd like to jump ahead just to the reviews of the mascara. So go ahead and do that right now if you are not interested in seeing what I wear and me talking about all of that. All right, the first thing we do, we talk about what I have on. This is a heavier knit top v-neck with long sleeves and the sleeves do have a cuff on them. They called it red, but I really feel like it's more of a berry with some rose mixed in there because it's that kind of little mottled look to the material. Love the little side cinching that it has on there with the little bows. Absolutely love that and it can kind of ruche around your tummy. Really like that a lot. The earrings that I have on today are a triple layer leaf earring. They have silver and then gold and then another little silver one on top of it. And they just show up and they're pretty, even if you have long hair, even if you have short hair, you can see them and they just kind of catch the light and they're real pretty. And then I have this beautiful bracelet. This does come in gold as well. This is the silver one. And these little diamonds are set in like flower motifs all the way around. So it's a tennis bracelet for sure, but each individual one is the flower. And I just thought it was so, so pretty and it picks up the light so nicely. It also on its clasp, it does have one extender that I didn't need and took out so it can go big enough. Now the makeup that I'm wearing along with my fingernail polish, everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box. And when we're talking about links, as always, I like to tell you about my numbering system. Right here is going to come up the number three. I'm going to be holding up one through however many products we get through today. And once I hold up that product, a number will come up on the screen that corresponds to that product. You don't have to remember anything about the product. Just open up the description box and then go down there and look for number three and the mascara that I was talking about for today will be linked next to it and any information that you may need you can shop that way if you would like to. All right that's our introduction. Let's get into 45 reviews of mascaras today right now. Okay here's the deal. The first ones that I show you are going to be the ones that I was absolutely disappointed by. There was for one reason or another that they just didn't work for me and here's another deal. If you like any of these, and if they're your holy grail mascaras, please disregard what I'm saying and don't worry about it. <laughs> Honestly, this is just one woman's opinion. This is how it goes on my personal skin or my personal eyelashes, and you might have a completely different experience. So go buy what works for you. And you know, if you wanna try some of these, great. If you already have your holy grail, I think that's fantastic. Stick with it. This is going to be easy because these first ones, I'm I'm going to tell you about them and then they're just going to go to the wayside. There is actually a garbage can right here and those will all just be headed that way, just so you know. And these ones that are miserable fails for me, this is not going to be part of the numbering system because I don't want you to buy these particularly. And here is the criteria for what they did not do or what they did that shouldn't have been done. First of all, number one, they flaked they smudged, they didn't last all day, they were impossible to get off because possibly they were a waterproof formula, and they didn't lengthen or volumize or keep the curl in my mascara. Do I sound picky? I am, but I'm telling you, I got some good ones in here, so let's get done with these. All right, this one is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. Same thing, no good on that one. Oh, this one from Makeup Revolution, the, the Lift and Define 5D Lash Waterproof. I did like this for a hot minute in the summer, but I found that it was ripping my 
eyelashes out when I was trying to take it off at night because it is that waterproof. So I really don't like that one at all. This is one of the ones from Essence, The Lash Princess. And I know everybody loves these, but this particular one, Curl and Volume Mascara, first of all, it didn't curl. It didn't hold the curl and it flaked like crazy. So no on that one. From Milk Makeup, this was their new one, their Rise Mascara. This was a terrible goopy mess on the brush. Didn't like that one. This one is from Blink. And this one, oh man, this one just, it didn't do anything. It didn't build like it's supposed to when you need a mascara to give you volume and whatnot. The new Sky High Mascara that is the Blackest Black or something like that. I can't remember what they named this. I think it was just to try and get people um, excited about Sky High ma Mascara again. But this is so different than their original one and I didn't like it. I It just didn't build like the original one. I just, it was not for me. This one is Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus waterproof again the waterproof it was very hard to get off this didn't build volume and i believe this one smudged pretty darn bad on me from i know i know a lot of you love this one so don't boo hiss me okay this is from flower beauty this is the lash warrior this one was okay but it flaked like crazy so i really couldn't i couldn't do much with it this one is the la girl jet setter mascara this one smudged like crazy this one one smudged as well this is from morphe i don't even know which one it is but it's one of their new ones smudged all over the place this one is from milk makeup the kush mascara this one is about their wand that wand is goopy and nasty and yeah just could not get that one to work pixie by petra this one is the lash booster mascara this one just would not build would not do anything that i wanted it to bare minerals maximus mascara i believe they came out with this one this year i did get it sent this one and this one wouldn't do anything either and by the end of the day i did have smudging this one from ulta this is the ulta matte lashes uh, multitasking it says mascara this one i don't feel like it multitasked anything it didn't hold my curl it flaked like crazy yeah just not like that one from kosas you guys know how much i love that brand but this one particularly smudged on me so bad underneath my eyes just could not do that one from collab beauty this is supposed to be like the all-in-one mascara uh-uh, it didn't work. It did not build at all. And I have okay lashes. I mean, I don't have super thick lashes, so I do look for a thickening or a volumizing mascara. And I do look for something to lengthen as well, but this one did neither. And no, didn't like that one at all. From Rimmel, the extra 3D lash, that one smudged like crazy. And then another one that smudged like crazy was Physician's Formula Diamond uh, Mascara. I think it says mineral. It might say something else, but yeah, I think this is their mineral one. This one's smudged as well. Okay, that's all the really yucky ones, the ones that just did not work whatsoever. Now we're gonna get into the average ones. So I will try to do this in a countdown type thing to where I talk about the ones that are, you know, my least favorite in the mid in the mid category and then go up. This is from Kaja, and this actually came with a brow gel as well. And one of them was for lengthening and one of them was for thickening. Great concept, right? Both of them have different wands on them. They were both okay, but they didn't achieve together even what I would look for in one mascara. So that is a medium one. And then from Matt, MAC, the Magic Extensions, I could not get this one to build hardly at all on anything. Again, it was okay, but it didn't build upon itself. And it didn't, it didn't smudge, it didn't flake anything like that, but it just really didn't give me the volume and the length that I really love out of a mascara. This one, the Voluminous Original, this is from L'Oreal. I do, and this one is in their purple. Okay, this is really fun. And I, I like this one for just tipping the ends of your mask of your eyelashes because you can get just a little bit of color. They have blue, they have green. I think they have a burgundy one. It's really nice to have that just for like special occasions. And what happens is as you're moving, it kind of hits the light and you can see that little bit of color. It's really pretty. However, I feel like it could have been a little bit more vibrant. And this just as a mascara, that's why it's in the mid pile because it being just a mas mascara really wasn't what I I needed 
to get the volume and the length that I love so much. From Honest Beauty, this one also has two sides to it. This one has a primer and then it has the mascara on the other end. Now I'll tell you what I didn't like about it was the primer. The primer itself has little fibers in it and it was okay, but once you went over to the regular side where you're supposed to just put the color of the mascara on, I felt like the primer made it stick together and get a little bit goopy. So you can work with this and it is really good if you need that primer, but honestly, I feel like it just kind of felt a little bit short for being a mascara that I just reach for. No fussing over your mascara, that kind of thing. This CoverGirl mascara, the professional super uh, thick, lash waterproof mascara this one was recommended and i like it okay it gave me medium length and it did give really good thickness or volume to my eyes it didn't smudge it didn't flake however this bugger was hard to get off at night so that's why it's in the mid category as well it was a good one but definitely was one that tugged and it was very hard to get off and the next morning i still had some of it left on to try and get off so that's why it's in the mid category because it was pretty decent, but it definitely wasn't exactly what I wanted. From Maybelline, the Full and Soft Mascara. If you're looking for a mascara that just gives you very fluffy, very um, soft lashes without giving you a lot of length or, and it really doesn't hold a curl very well, this is a pretty mascara. It is very soft, like it says. So when you touch your eyelashes, you're not going to feel like the crinklies that you get. Sometimes when you're wearing different mascaras, you can really feel how crinkly your eyelashes are it is a soft mascara and it does do volume but it doesn't do length and it doesn't hold my curl so that's why it was in the mid one as well this is the lash discovery from maybelline 2 i really really love the wand on this for the bottom lashes it's fantastic and to pick up any of those little ones in the inside of your lashes that's great too however i did feel like it kind of fell short on giving me the the length that i needed the volume was okay but the length that I needed. The volume was good because of that little brush, it can pick up all of your lashes and you can really coat them. But when I needed that length to be built on, it just kind of fell short a little bit on that one. From Rare Beauty, I actually do feel like this is a really good mascara. However, I also feel like as I used it for a couple weeks, the brush on it got kind of goopy. So if you're willing to work with it and brush off the brush into the tube a little bit, you might really like this. It wasn't super great on keeping the curl, but everything else it did really good. It built up length and the volume and it was really good that way. It didn't smudge, it didn't flake. It was a really good mascara, but I felt like after a couple weeks, I was having to work with it too much. And if you're gonna spend that much on mascara, I feel like you shouldn't have to work quite as much to make it work for you. The Falsies Lash Lift from Maybelline. This is in the waterproof one. This was my holy grail for such a long time and mostly because of the wand and the way that it's hourglassed. And I do like this one, but this one is also the same as the Rare Beauty. After a few weeks, you just find that it's so goopy that you're actually just rubbing off as much as you can off of the wand. And that's the hard part about it. Also, it being waterproof, it was a little bit harder to take off. I'm really careful with my lashes because I have to be able to get that mascara off and it not damage them because I never wear false lashes. And, you know, I really try to baby mine because I want them to be as full and as thick and as long as they possibly can be. So this is a good mascara. I really do like it. I've put it in my top ones before. However, because of the waterproof, I had to knock it down. And if you get the original without the waterproof, then it smudges. So we got a little bit of a conundrum with this one. It's a love-hate type thing. <laughs> From Milani, it's the anti-gravity mascara that everybody is going gaga for right now. I researched this. A lot of people were saying that it's a tubing mascara. It is not a tubing mascara. It does have a silicone brush with an hourglass wand. And I do like that about it. It comes to a very fine tip, so it's very easy to hit those bottom lashes and way on the inner corner. It does give a lot of length, a lot of volume. It really ticked off so many boxes, but I did find that by the end of the day, this isn't like an hour in, two hours in, that it was flaking. This is at the end of the day. So 
I really can't complain too much about it. I really struggled with this one about putting it into my top ones, but it just wasn't quite as good as some of these other ones I'm going to show you today, and you'll find out why here in a minute. From CoverGirl, the Exhibitionist Mascara. This was my holy grail for almost a year when it first came out. I loved this, and I don't know whether they've changed it or not, changed the packaging, changed the formula. I don't know, but now when I pull this wand out, I do have to work with it and really try and pull some of the product off of it before I go in. Otherwise, it's going to get clumpy. Other than that, it's a beautiful mascara that lengthens, holds a curl, gives you volume. You can hit those under, uh, under lashes, under lashes. You can hit your lashes under your eyes and it works so perfect. But really, honestly, it, I didn't put it in my upper category because of the goopiness on the wand itself. That's one of my pet peeves, as you can see already. Already. Another one from L'Oreal. This is the Double Extend Mascara. And again, this has the primer on one side and then it has the regular on the other side. This is not like a fantastical wand or anything like that. It's just kind of an, an unassuming wand. I feel like this primer is very much like their original primer, which is a great primer. It works so good. It does have the little fibers in it and it will build it up. And also I did learn that this is a tubing mascara. Now I really did like this a lot. The one thing that this didn't give was holding the curl for me. And that was really the only thing that it didn't do. It came off easily at night, but without any smudging, without any flaking through the day. So this was a good mascara. It just had one little box that it didn't tick on there. From Charlotte Tilbury, this is her Pillow Talk push up lashes. I've tried several of her mascaras and have never appreciated any of them. However, this one was different. It has a very different wand. It's kind of thin and yet um, when you turn it, you can see that it gets a little bit thicker. So you're getting to be able to grab the little lashes, but then you can turn it and build up some volume. This is a really great concept. I did find though that this dried out too fast. And I don't know whether it was just one that I got that maybe was older and was closer to its expiration date. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I do like this mascara. I like it very much. I feel like it did do all of the boxes, but I do feel like it just dried out just a little bit too fast. So that's why it's in the mid category as well. Okay, before but we get into the really good ones, I have to tell you about the two from ColourPop. This one is called the Level Up Lengthening Mascara. The wand on this is just your regular Christmas tree wand. It is a natural bristle brush. I do like this one for building volume. It's really good. And then the other one is called Act Natural. And this one has a an even bigger wand, which is a little bit hard for me to work with sometimes, but this did build even more thickening and this one did the lengthening. Now I'll tell you why I ha held these up together because together they make a fantastic finished look of your eyelashes. So you get the length and the volume and the curl hold, and then you also don't get any smudging or flaking throughout the day, but it's almost like they have to be used together to be the perfect mascara. So again, that's why they're in the mid section of this video. Da -da -da -da. Okay, are you ready for my most loved mascaras of the year? What I wanna do do is I first want to start out with the ones that you have seen from me before. You know I love them and you know that they are staples. So these are the ones, these are the five that I have repurchased over and over again. I've had them many years. I believe they were probably in last year's and the year before Roundup, but these are the ones that never fail me. So let's start out, out with the e.l.f. Lash It Loud. And everybody went for that big, huge wand. I couldn't get that thing to work. I just made a mess. This one is so good. I love this one. It is a silicone bristle brush and I never feel like this smudges or flakes. I feel like it lasts all day. It holds my curl. It does lengthening like no other and it's really good on the thickening as well. So this one is one of my holy grails. You guys know this from past years. Another, Another one that is my one of my holy grails is the Maybelline Sky High. This is the original formula and I have this in the water washable formula. So again, this is a silicone brush. And the one thing that a lot of people don't like about this is that that brush is bendable. For me, that works a little bit better because I actually can get way down in there and pull up without having a problem. I like that it's bendable, but a lot of people didn't. But for me, this mascara, again, chipped 
checks off all of the boxes and it has for several years and I continue to repurchase it. Love, love, love this mascara. Seriously, if you haven't tried this one, please try this one because I think that you might really, really like it. Another one, uh, everybody loves the Green Tube Lash Princess Mascara. This one is the false lash effect, but the waterproof one. Okay, this isn't hard to get off at night. It's a little bit more, um, you know, you need to use an oil or a balm to get it off. So it's a little bit more difficult to get off. But this one I choose to have over and over again because it does stay on. All of those other Lash Princess mascaras flake on me. And it's not, you know, three hours in and I've got flakes coming off. Or if I happen to, you know, get something in my eye, it is definitely going to come off. But this one doesn't. I love that the brush is just very unassuming and very small, slender. It is a bristle brush or the natural bristles like a hairbrush. It's definitely one that I will continue to repurchase because I feel like it just does everything. And now that they have the waterproof formula, it doesn't go anywhere as well. My all-time favorite, highest up mascara that I chose to put in every single year-end review since I started my channel is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This was my number one, is, was my number one. I love everything about this mascara. The formula is perfect. It never smudges, flakes, anything like that. This wand is perfect as, as far as I'm concerned. It has the uh, silicone bristle brush, but on the end it has those little spikes that catch every single little <laughs> lash underneath. And it just has been one that has been just perfection for me. So if you've been thinking about a mascara mascara that's higher end and you want something that just really delivers the most beautiful lashes. This has been probably my most repurchased makeup item of all time. That's saying a lot. I think okay. this was last year's or the year before. It's the Essence 20 Forever Bold Volume Mascara. The brush itself is curved a little bit and it's a silicone brush. I do like silicone brushes. I just think that they do give me more length and they're just a little bit better for me as far as that goes. I feel like this one was so much like the Benefit They're Real. Just very, very much like it. But this one costs $6. And I also feel like this ticks off all the boxes. I don't ever have any smudging or flaking with this one at all. It just makes the most beautiful, voluminous, lengthened lashes. And I continue to love this and continue continue to purchase this one over and over again. Okay, okay, so now I have six left. Let's talk about where they all rank. This one is from Makeup Forever, and this is a two-step mascara as well. This is called the Professional with an A-L-L -L at the end. So the first thing you do, it tells you there's a step one and step two. So the first step, I actually feel like I wanted to do this backwards. This is what they said was their first step. And again, it's that teeny tiny wand like the Maybelline had. And I like that very much for catching everything. But this side, step two, was the more natural bristle brush with the Christmas tree was more voluminous. I felt like I wanted to do this one, the step number two, and then do step number one. I do like to get way down in the base and then pull the, you know, the volume of it up and really build the volume up as much as I can. And then I like to go back in with the other brush and I like to catch every single little uh, lash that I can. And then I like to tip them all and then do the bottom lashes. And this is just a lovely, lovely mascara. I was so impressed by it. No smudging, no flaking, and it really, built up and made some gorgeous lashes on me. I really was impressed by it this year. From Say Beauty, I really like this one as well. I liked it because of its brush. This is almost like a miniature brush of the Benefit They're Real. So it built up and it made some beautiful, beautiful lashes. And I could catch all of the lashes that were underneath. It really built on itself. It didn't feel crunchy or anything on my lashes. Even now, if I wanted to, I can go back in here I could tip those lashes and it would build on them still and it wouldn't make a mess or look like spider legs or anything like that this one is really easy to come off at night this is a clean beauty brand if you're into that um, I really like this one no smudging no flaking on me Not either it. okay I think this is number four that we're at in the countdown I love this one from item beauty this is such a good mascara I love the little bitty wand on it I do love myself a little bitty wand I think they just create so much 
control as you're working with your lashes, especially if you have a disability like I do where you tend to shake, but you can catch all the little lash hairs and you can do the underneath without making a mess like I do so many times. I really like this. It's also a natural bristle brush, which so many of those other ones weren't. I do like that because then you can get in there and you can really build up the volume at the base of your lashes, you know, and then pull them out. And then at the end, you can tip this, you can, you know, put that brush underneath your lashes and really tip them and really help them look super voluminous and super long. Great lasting mascara lasts such a long time. I just think that this is just so good. Again, I believe this is a clean beauty brand at Sephora if you're interested in that. And then number three is from Ilia. Again, another clean beauty brand. This one blew me away. I'll tell you why. Because I normally do not like these big bristle brushes. And this one is the hourglass and it doesn't even have a tip on the end down here where you can, you know, very easily catch the bottom ones. But this formula is phenomenal. I mean, I started to work with this and I'm like, whoa, that's building some lashes quick. And then I was like, they were so soft and they weren't clumping together. And I just built and built and built and it was beautiful. I was just shocked. This holds a curl. It lengthens, it volumizes. I can catch all the lashes underneath. It does the lengthening on those. By the way, I am wearing this on this side. So you do know that today, this is this mascara. And I just was quite blown away by this mascara. All right, and at number two is from Calorie. And this is also a clean beauty brand. And I actually had the big one of this during the year. And then I saw this one come out and just bought it again. Again, this is a gorgeous mascara. This is a tubing mascara that comes off so easily at night. That's what tubing mascaras are all about. They're supposed to coat each individual lash with that mascara. This is a natural bristle brush and it's very thin. The formula though in here, it's so, so good. I really do love this. Again, this builds on itself and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's what I have on this eye today. And I just think that it's one of those mascaras that if you haven't tried it and you've been looking for a clean beauty brand or you've been looking for something that's an all-in-one mascara that does it all, that gives you the curl, the length, the volume, you know, you can do the under eyes, you can touch up your inner corner lashes or you have lashes that are like microscopic and you can catch those. So I really like this one. It's just a beautiful mascara as much as I like all the rest of them. And in at the number one spot is the mascara that for years and years and years I have fought against getting and trying and now I could kick myself because it's the Thrive Mascara and this is the tubing mascara. It's called Liquid Lash Extensions. I don't know why I took so long to get to this, but this is a phenomenal mascara. I am absolutely over the moon happy with this mascara. First of all, just your basic silicone brush that is very unassuming, thin, no big deal, but I am here to tell you that this little sucker, it does exactly what it promises. You're going to get phenomenal length, phenomenal volume, and it's going to hold the curl. It's going to catch every every single lash and it's going to coat them so pretty. You can tip your lashes with this. You get the underneath lashes. You can actually put two coats underneath your lashes right there. And both of those coats are going to look natural and not look goopy underneath there. This is on all day until you take it off. And it is, I am not kidding. This is one of the most beautiful mascaras. I will be repurchasing this one. And I am sorry to tell you, but I have to tell you that the Thrive has bumped off the Essence Bold Volume. Volume. It is in a very equal dead heat race <laughs> with the benefit they're real. These two, I feel like I, it wouldn't matter what I was doing, where I was. I could put either one of these on and get phenomenal looking lashes, get the false lash effect like it talked about. This is so good. I seriously, if you haven't tried this, wait for a sale, of course. But if you haven't tried it, go ahead and try it. It's just that good. The beautiful thing about Thrive Cosmetics is they spell cosmetics C-A-U-S. And that's because they give back a portion of their profits 
with everything that they make. And I'm so happy to be able to support a brand like that that's willing to give back no matter what they're selling, no matter what they're doing. I think it's really great. This is this is just so good. It really truly is. Now let me just tell you really quickly before we go anywhere, this is how I got the mascaras that I showed you today that are all the clean beauty brands. This one comes with the Milk Makeup Mascara, the Say Mascara, the Ilia, the Item, and the Calorie. So you do get all five in here to try, but then inside of here, there is a coupon for you to get the full size of whichever one of these that you want. Now, Sephora does have a couple of these sets out, and I would advise you that if you're interested, go ahead and go pick those up because I think it's great that you can get the full size, but you can try all of these. If you have been somebody that's been wanting to try different mascaras, it's a great way to. And that is it for today's video. 45 mascaras in super fast speed reviews. I hope that you did enjoy seeing these. I thank you so very much for spending time with me when we do these fast reviews. Sometimes it gets crazy. Now you need to tell me what your favorite mascara is, why it is your favorite mascara, and I will probably go out and try it for the year 2023. 2022 was a great year for mascaras and I found some really beautiful ones that I'm super excited about and I love you so much. Please come back around very soon. We'll all be together and we will have all kinds of fun. Take care my friends, bye-bye.